Hi, I'm Brian Darty from Visteon's Advanced Development Team. Today we're going to present some real-world scenarios that highlight the advantages of Visteon's vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle or V2V system. A V2V module has been placed in our demonstration vehicle, this Lincoln MKZ. A second vehicle, a Ford Focus, is also equipped with our V2V module. This car will encounter some common driving hazards as part of our demonstration. Because the Focus is equipped with a V2V module, it will broadcast messages that will be picked up by the Lincoln MKZ. A third vehicle, the Chrysler 300C, is not equipped with V2V technology and is being used to replicate real-world situations. This is important because V2V technology uses dedicated short-range communication, otherwise known as DSRC, a wireless communication standard. When compared to traditional vehicle radar and vision systems, V2V provides a greater amount of notification time to the driver regarding possible issues in their vicinity. Although there are dozens of use cases for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure communications, today we will highlight three V2V examples. Emergency electronic brake light warning, obstructed stopped vehicle ahead warning, and slippery road condition ahead warning. This use case demonstrates emergency electronic brake light warning. In this example, we have three cars traveling at the same speed, the Focus, the 300C, and the MKZ. Remember, the Focus and MKZ are equipped with Visteon's vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle module, while the 300C is not. To avoid colliding with a bicyclist in her path, the driver of the Focus applies the brakes. As the emergency electronic brake light is activated, a message is sent from its V2V module. Because our MKZ is also equipped with a V2V module, it receives the message both audibly and visually, giving the driver ample time to safely slow down, even though the middle car obstructed our view. Since the middle car is not equipped with a V2V module, the driver does not receive an alert and is forced to make a dangerous swerve to avoid an accident. In this scenario, we will highlight an obstructed stopped vehicle ahead warning. As you can see, we are traveling at a similar speed to the car in front of us. We have no visibility around the vehicle ahead of us to know there is a disabled car up ahead. In this case, let's assume the driver of the 300C, just ahead of the MKZ, isn't paying attention to the road ahead and is forced to make a last minute swerve to avoid the disabled vehicle. Because the disabled car is equipped with a V2V module, it is broadcasting a warning message to vehicles within a 300 to 500 meter radius. Once our car enters that zone, we receive the warning message and are alerted to avoid the stopped vehicle. In this situation, because of a slippery road condition, the first vehicle's anti-lock brake system is triggered. The V2V module recognizes the danger and immediately transmits a message to surrounding vehicles. The vehicle without the V2V module is not alerted, so it loses traction, creating a dangerous situation. Our vehicle receives the slippery road condition ahead warning, giving us time to slow the vehicle down and be alert. Those were just a few examples showcasing the benefits of this technology. Thanks for watching.